Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get Quandl API key in 2024. So today, we're exploring how to obtain a Quandl API key, which grants access to a wealth of finance and economic data. Whether you're building like some trading algorithm or conducting some research or analyzing market trends, a Quandl API key is essential for you. So in this tutorial, we will guide you through the process of getting your own API key on Quandl. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will need to go and sign up for your Quandl account. To do so, go and open a browser that you'll use. For me here, I'm using Brave for you. You can use whatever you want. Once you open that browser, basically go to this URL section. Here, make sure to type Quandl and hit the enter button. Once you do so, Sorry, no E in the end. And once you do so, you'll find yourself here in the home screen or main screen. Of course, I'll just go here and click on this first link as an example. And as you can see, get API access to Quandl data right now. Sample data is available for all Quandl database. So if you have an account, click on login. As example, login into your account. And if you don't have an account, instead, make sure to go and click on sign up instead. So here to sign up, of course, as an example, we'll have to go and start by our first name. Uh, last name as an example for me, I'm just filling up some random information in here. Do you want to use it for business, academic, or personal? As an example, I'll just choose personal here. Click next, email address, country. I'll just choose United States here. And how will you be using this data? I'm not sure yet as an example. Click on next. I have agreed to the terms of service. Of course, make sure to read them out and make sure to check that I'm not a robot. Traffic lights. And I guess maybe this one also motorcycles so let me just go and include all those pictures here and click go and click on create account so okay click on create account as you can see welcome to nasdaq data link your api key is as you can see and can be found even in the account settings so as you can see once you sign up into a new account they automatically give you your api key you basically have to do nothing more any help that you need to get started using your data can be found in the help section. And as you can see here, if we go and click on account settings, we'll find your API key and your profile. Of course, you'll be able to update your profile or even delete your account if you don't want to use it anymore. And as you can see here in the help center, if you don't understand something, you'll be able to find anything. Like an example, if you don't know still how to use an API, how, why I'm getting a connector error. As example, if you're getting a connector error, as example, they'll tell you here in case you have a firewall set up or a whitelisting guide can be found here as example. You can click in here to read that out in case your workplace has connection restriction, uh, restrictions in place. It's highly recommended that you reach out to your uh, corporate IT department to apply the whitelisting guidelines linked above as an example. And here about like uh, this, if you have a firewall uh, well set up, they'll show you exactly how to disable that example for whitelist, for proxy service, uh, servers and etc. Of course. Uh, basically in this help you'll be able to see a lot of things and other than that if you go here to home as you can see, as you can see a lot of things so general frequently asked questions table and time series user frequently asked questions and even real time and delayed frequently asked questions so basically uh, if you found any problem you can even just go here and look for it or use the search button as example if you maybe uh, how to use api or you can simply type api usage as example and hit the enter button as you can see you'll find all kind of articles about that if you don't know nothing about how much does api uses cost as example you'll be able to see here documentation they'll give you everything about for example if you click here you'll be able to find everything so just keep looking and keep clicking on the links and you will be normally good to go so of course once you have your key you'll be able to use it uh, the Quandl extensive library of finance and economic data, including your API key and your API request to authenticate uh, and access your data and the data you need. So there you have it. You successfully obtained your Quandl API key. With your API key, you can now access a wealth of financial and economical data to fuel your analysis, research, and trading strategies. So make sure to dive into Quandl's data, offerings, and unlock valuable insights in the dynamic landscape of 2024 and beyond so if you have any question or there's a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial make sure to drop it down below in the comment section and i'll try to do it as soon as possible of course if you like this video also make sure to leave a like down below 
subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. So happy data exploration and thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. So goodbye.